Persona 3 Reload arrives on the PlayStation, Xbox and Windows systems and thanks to Atlas we were able to get hands on with an advanced copy. Now I've been extremely excited for this release and today I'm going to be running you through my opinion and whether I think it's worth the cash. My name's Alex, this is XP Corner and if you enjoy the video subscribe it helps out the channel a huge amount. The narrative of Persona 3 Reload places us in the role of a transfer student arriving at a new school and residence only to discover the ability to access the Dark Hour. Now this event it occurs when the clock strikes midnight, freezing most of the world around us while we are able to experience an hour filled with evil between the days. Now here we're going to be joining a group of friends who possess of course similar abilities and we are fighting to safeguard those around us and prevent any harm from reaching the real world. It's actually causing issues on a daily basis. Overall though for story I do think Persona 3 is exceptionally well crafted standing out as one of the series darkest entries with its sinister imagery and themes notably the act of shooting oneself in the head to summon a persona. However, I will admit it is also regrettable that the game doesn't offer a choice between male and female protagonists, a feature that was present in Persona 3 Portable. Right off the bat, I think the gameplay is stunning. This refamped version of the game strikes this ideal balance between satisfying fans of the original and incorporating new features from those recent entries. It is important to remember as well that while Persona 5 may be the most commercially popular installment, it was this game that truly defined the essence of what we associate with Persona today. You know, crucial elements like the calendar and school system, they originated here, and it's hard to envision now a Persona game without them. The core experience of the series then is very much as you may expect. It centers around exploring a town, alternating between school days and after school activities. So think like socializing, working or participating in special events. These, they all affect the lead protagonist's three key stats, that is charm, academics and courage. Now these social stats are crucial as they unlock new areas on the map and they also influence your abilities and progression with a specific persona form. I've always appreciated this system and now there are more options to develop and enhance these interactions. This is significant because much like in newer entries, working with personas is vital to success as you level them up alongside yourself. Additionally, personas can be modified and fused through a relatively simple system. The combat then, true to the series, it really focuses on exploiting elemental weaknesses, so you need to really be building a persona based around what you believe is gonna be ahead. This town, this hub world shall we call it then, isn't just limited to conversations. During this time we can access the Velvet Room, that's the realm where we do our persona adjustments. We can also accept quests and we can partake in additional activities, which I won't spoil, but finally then we can visit stores as well. Items you see acquired, they carry over to the midnight hour in Persona 3, making these shop visits crucial. You can expect to frequently visit things like pharmacies for medical supplies or the police headquarters to purchase weapons. One thing you should definitely pay a lot of attention to. Then of course we get to Tartarus. This is the dungeon that emerges during the dark hour which we're tasked to investigate throughout the game. A challenge I faced when revisiting the original game was that Tartarus, well over 200 floors, could become a repetitive grind, leading to some burnout. Fortunately, improvements here have been made with this version. You know, while it may not be as varied still as the multiple dungeons in Persona 5, the redesigns just make it quicker and easier to navigate. Thematically as well, a Tartarus undergoes more, let's say, dramatic changes as you do progress, which definitely adds a nice touch. I will also say as well that the difficulty curve feels more balanced now. In the original, I recall a constant grind, but in this version, I found myself leveling up in pace with the game's progression without the need for excessive extra battles, which was definitely a pleasant surprise. In addition to Tartarus, then the game features full moon offense. I've not shown a huge amount of these. I'm deliberately limiting the gameplay shown to the first 10 hours or so because it's an experience best encountered first hand, but these full moon offense, they often present tougher bosses and they usually actually occur outside of Tartarus offering a welcome change of pace. Also to give you an idea at this point, 
I'd say for a standard playthrough of the experience, you're looking right in the region of 80 hours. Then when it comes to the dungeon crawling, the battle system. In Persona 3, now as expected, it is turn-based and it remains as robust as ever. Initially, you start with a team of three, which eventually expands to four, and as the game progresses, new party members, they do join you. Unlike the original Persona 3, where there was an option for automatic controller team members, in this version, you actively control each team member's actions. The system feels thoroughly modernized, making every battle really enjoyable. You know, the strategic balance here lies between using standard attacks and then deploying personas with specific elemental strengths, think like using fire against an ice-orientated enemy. The game then really just revolves around uncovering each enemy's weakness and strategically exploiting it. Navigating the menu then, I will admit, can become complex since our protagonist can possess multiple personas unlike other team members. To streamline this, tapping the right trigger will automatically select an attack that targets an enemy's weakness and even switches personas and character if necessary. While this might seem to simplify gameplay, it is still built upon the strategic element of you must first discover the enemy's weakness, so I did find it actually to be a smart addition. Then perhaps the most exciting element of battles is when you down enemies. If you knock all enemies down, you get the opportunity for an all-out attack, which can inflict significant damage. Additionally, you have the option then to pass the baton to another party member after downing an enemy, and this is useful when you don't have the necessary attack for the remaining enemies ahead of you. Finally, these battles, they reward not just with XP, but also through a random event post-victory, where you select a card, and this card could yield various benefits, ranging from loot and cash, to a modifier for your ongoing journey in Tartarus. Think like extra XP in battles until you leave this night. So overall, I found myself enjoying Tartarus more than ever before. While occasionally you might be halted in your progression due to the calendar system, leading to some extended periods of you know, advancing through that calendar quickly, many smart decisions have just been made to modernize the overall experience, and it really does feel like a brand new game. Overall, this version is now, in my opinion, the best way to play Persona 3, and yes, I'd say there is still value in playing all versions of the game. This one just aligns more closely with modern standards. It offers an accessible entry point now for those who maybe started with Persona 4 or 5, because with this release, they're in for an absolute treat. Visually, Persona 3 Reload is a fantastic reimagining of the original. The character designs remain true to their roots, but they've been given that fresh 2024 makeover, just looking fantastic. Think from the ultra stylist protagonist to the sporting cast. The enemy designs in have also been significantly enhanced, benefiting from, of course, advancements in hardware. And then while a Tartarus can still get repetitive, its design is easier to understand and the thematic changes as you do progress now are more pronounced, helping to mitigate some of that potential burnout. The battle animations and I highlight maintaining the essence of what we expect from Persona 3 and adding, of course, that modern flair. You know, the summoning of personas in battle, especially noteworthy, that act of pointing the gun to the head is executed with incredible style, and I found myself watching this animation repeatedly, never getting tired of it. In terms of audio then, which is always a crucial aspect of the Persona series, the game once again excels. Persona 3 Reload features full of voice acting of impressive quality, and it really captures the emotions of each character while acknowledging, you know, their dual lives as school students with a demanding, unique, I guess let's call it, side job. The music, of course, then is a standout as well, maintaining the series tradition of just exceptional composition. And yeah, this version, it skillfully blends original tracks from the game with remixed versions and even new additions. The result is just this incredibly immersive auditory experience that perfectly complements the game's atmosphere. You know, given its quality as well, like the other Persona games now, this soundtrack needs a physical release. So overall, a Persona 3 Reload is exactly what I had hoped for, a respectful reimagination of a pivotal game in the series. You know, without it, Persona wouldn't be what it is today, and this remake honors that legacy. The characters, cast, and story just as compelling as ever. The combat system with its modernized tweaks kept me locked in, and then experiencing this world with its updated visuals and free exploration was an absolute treat. You know, while Tartarus may not match the multi-dungeon design of Persona 5 and again can become a little, I guess, tiresome towards the end game, 
it still remains overall a fantastic experience. It is a must play in my opinion for both fans of the series and the genre and I'm giving it an amazing 9 out of 10. Now personally I'm eagerly awaiting news on Persona 6 though I certainly wouldn't object to more remakes just like this one in particular. I'd love to see Persona 4 Golden, my personal favourite in the series, receive a similar treatment. And that's the video down. Will you be checking out Persona 3 Reload? I'll let us know in the comments. Then hit subscribe, join us here for reviews, deals, news analysts weekly, and I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.